Brad Pitt bid six figures to watch Game of Thrones with Emily A. Clark and Kit Harrington. How cool would it be to watch Game of Thrones with the two leading actors? It turns out, we're not the only ones who would jump at the chance to do so. Brad Pitt actually put his money where his mouth was. At a celebrity benefit hosted by Sean Penn for a Hadian relief organization, Brad Pitt bid $120,000 to watch an episode of the HBO show with Emily A. Clark, Dean East Targer, Yen and Kit Harrington Jon Snow. Unfortunately, the A-lister lost out to a bid of $160,000. He didn't go home empty-handed. The ex-husband of Angelina Jolie reportedly left with an NBA weekend experience with the San Antonio Spurs featuring tickets to a game, a ride on the team's plane and more VIP seats to the team's practice and game in Texas, according to E! Online. Meanwhile, Emily and Leonardo DiCaprio were in a bidding war for a famous painting. Kit Harrington, on the other hand, kept on the down low after his debacle at a New York City bar that made headlines less than 48 hours ago. Apparently. The king in the north couldn't handle his liquor after a long night at bar flight. He was so drunk and disorderly that he had to be physically carried out of the establishment after being asked to leave multiple times. Brad Pitt is said to be casually dating these days. He's rumored to have been named dropping himself to pick up ladies. This comes after Angelina Holy filed for divorce from Pitt allegedly stemming from alcohol abuse that reared its head in an alleged physical altercation between him and his son. Maddox Jolie Pitt. Brad has since quit drinking completely. He opened up about the event and his divorce to GQ stating, I was really on my back and chained to a system when child services was called. And you know, after that, we've been able to work together to sort this out. We're both doing our best. You spend a year just focused on building a case to prove your point and why you're right and why they're wrong, and it's just an investment in vitriolic hatred. I just refuse. And fortunately my partner in this agrees.